Okay, hopefully everything's working. I'll find out in the sound check. So, welcome to Days Panel Hacking. <laughs> now, to explain what this is, also, is the sound working? Well, I have an ad right now. Great. Uh, first off, I want to say sorry I sound like crap. But I've been sick for the past few days. I mentioned how last week during a stream how I was starting to feel like I might be coming down with something. Well, here I am, and I pretty much am... Hmm. Oh, that's right, I need a little bit of safe state. Yeah, uh, I probably... Well, I did get something. My nose was runny, I had a sore throat. Luckily, no fever, but I do have a bit of a headache, so I'll see how long I can stream. And with that said, I couldn't stream yesterday, so that put me behind. And I wanted to not stream today, but I have no choice now. Because April 1st is coming up, and I have to record a stream for then, for my April Fool's stream. <laughs> All right, so it looks like it's loaded sound. You're working. Let me check. Full stream. Okay, yeah, it's working. So yeah, sorry that I've been sick. Now to explain what this is. This is Days Panel Hacking. So some time ago I mentioned how I wanted to do a panel randomizer, and I ended up finding the codes for your panel positions. So first I'm going to show how to do that using the RAM search and Desmune. And next, since I don't really have time at any other point except during streams, I'm going to go through each individual value and jot down what each panel is. Just to, you know, get ready for a panel randomizer. Scrub has told me that he will not do a randomizer for me. So if anyone else wants to, I mean, might as well have the information. Or if Scrub changes his mind, we'll see. Yeah. So, let's get to it. First, I'm gonna tell you how I figured out what the panel positions were. So, given something like this, no code I have found anyway, no code online, and I've also given myself all the panels in the game. That's uh, normal codes you can find online. And I've also unlocked everything for Roxas, as you can see. And this is like day 26, so you know that I did have. So, as you can see, there's no code that I've found that replaces what each of these panel positions are. So, I can't, I don't know what a code is to, like, give the fifth thing this potion. I don't know what that is. I don't know a code for it. So, I've been trying to dig around in the game and try to figure it out. And I ended up stumbling upon using the RAM search function. And let's see if I can pull it up. OBS right here. Ram search. Uh, add to property. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is the Ram search that is available on Desmune. The DS emulator. So using this, it shows you... Well, right now for me, it's saying 4,243,456 different possibilities. So using this, I'm gonna try to figure out what, say, like, for example... Because I know what this panel is. But let's see if I can figure out what... Let's see, here, 2, 7, 12, 17... Let's try and figure out what this panel is. Okay. So now to show you how I do it. So I just put in something, as you can see. So using this... I know that, like, let's say this value was the actual panel. Well, it would have a value here being whatever is there. And I know that it's going to be in hexadecimal. Whatever I'm looking for. It will absolutely be in hexadecimal, so I'll just leave it there. Hexadecimal is basically counting to 16. So it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But then the next one doesn't go to 10. It goes to A, then B, C, D, E, F, and then 0. 
So f plus 1 would be 16. So that would equal 10. In a way. Because the base we use is base 10. There's only 10 digits, but base 16 is hexadecimal, meaning there's 16 different digits. So now, I do know that it's going to be in hexadecimal, so let's try to find out what that value for panel 17 is. Oh, and to explain what these values are, this value shows what it's, what's there currently. So right now it's saying in this register, there is a value of 00. zero. Its previous value shows what it previously was, which right now shows 00. zero. And changes shows the number of times this changed. So right now, I know that it's empty. There's so many different registers, and there's things like this that just constantly keep going up, which I think this one is actually the time in the game. So whenever this goes up, that's the time, and then it just adds it to your game time. So first, let's try to find things that are equal to its previous value, because I've changed nothing. So if I search this, it cut down the probability, or the possibilities to 3.2 million, from 4 point something million to 3.2 million. Okay, so let's try this. I will put a potion in slot 17, so 2, 7, 17. And let's go on a mission. So now that I put the panel in, I know that that value that has the panel, it will change. So instead of having it for the comparison being equal to, I'll have it be not equal to. So now I know I changed it, so let's do not equal to previous value. And now, I am left with 669,641 possibilities. I'm not sure what the red means when it's red. I think it means, like, it can still be changed. And now you see values like these that keep going. I'll just set it to equal to, and then search again, because it's definitely not changed. And that gets rid of values like this. Hmm. What do you know, I did something wrong. Because I shouldn't be left with this. Let's try it again. And you can click reset to reset everything. So I'll just do some random things like, oh look, I'm moving here. But basically doing stuff like this, you can figure out registers. For the panels. God damn it. Uh, why? And blocked. So let's see, I just did a bunch of random stuff. And I haven't changed the panel, so it should be equal to the previous value. So now I'm left with 3.5 million. Let's take this potion out. Anyway. Huh, I did a practice of this like four hours ago and it worked perfectly. Here I am doing it live on stream and it fails. So now it should be not equal to the previous value. Now I have a bunch of these. Hmm. Now it should still be equal to previous value. Okay. Now let's see. I 
Yeah, if I put you in here. And you can do a lot of things here, like, say here, you realize, like, oh, this one can't be it. Or something like this can't be it. You can just eliminate it from here. So now I know I changed it, so now not equal to previous value. Search. Over here. Jump around, move a bit. Go through here. I didn't change it, so it should still be equal. And now I'm down to 2299 possibilities currently. So now if I remove you, go back. And by doing this over and over, just doing random things, I was able to figure out what the panel position was. And it should be something like 0219, whatever. Now here I am, and it should still be equal. Hmm. And eventually I found it. Yeah, I'm doing something wrong because I can't find it. That sucks. What a useless tutorial. I can't even do it right. But anyway, now to put in the cheat. Here's what I do know. I do know one of these values. The fifth one is... If I can find it here. Slot 5 is 1219. Actually 0219. 54A0. And every time you add 2, it will go to the next slot. So it will go 5. If you want to if you want it to be even though, I just made it so instead of 0 being first, I have it as 1. So then you just add 2 and it'll go to the next one. It works really weird if you start with 0 and you try to go for an even panel. So right now I am at slot 5 will be 1219 Five four a zero, and every time you add two, it will go to the next one. So let's see, slot five, six, seven. That will be add four more, so it will be a four in the end. Now, if I edit the cheat, yeah, once again, sorry did the tutorial wrong, but you get the basic idea. Eventually you will find it. And just to show you that it did work, for slot 7, because I already knew what it was, I found it. Look what I have here. A slot releaser in here. So ID 01 will be a slot releaser. 00 is Xemnas' favorite because it's nothingness. But yeah. So now, let's see if I can add it to RAM Watch. Let's see. So if I get rid of you. Now if I open RAM Watch. And add in... Let's see. So now I'll put a watch on you. On zero two one nine five four a four, which I found to be slot seven. And I'll have you in hexadecimal. And now let's see if OBS can capture this. There. Yeah. 
and I will just move you here. And there's the RAM watch for that slot. So right now it's showing value 1 is in there. That's because I have the slot releaser code for there. So now I'm just going to be going through every single panel and documenting it because I really do not have time to ever do this off stream. So let's get to it. So as soon as I leave, it goes to this value 2. So 2 is potion, and I know up to here, it goes, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it would go, if I could write it down. Mega potion is 4, ether is 5, high ether. High Ether, Mega Ether, Elixir would be 8, Mega Elixir is 9, and these I know from my own testing. So let's see, Panacea is 10. Limit Recharger is 11. And now here's where things get weird. After this, I tried testing what's next, and it's really strange. To show you, this is what happens. So now I'll go into Cheats. Because you think Level Up would be next, but it's not. So, 12 should be B. Let's see, oh no, limit recharger is B, okay. That's, 12 should be C, my bad. Yeah, sorry again that I sound like this, but I'm still sick and I've got quite a headache right now. So, if I put level up here, you'd think it would be it would be uh, number 12, it's not. And let's see, if I could edit you. So instead of being in hexadecimal, I'll keep it in signed right now. So as you can see, level up is number 63. So we're missing 12 to 62. In fact, why don't I just duplicate you? And keep one for sign or one for hexadecimal, right here. I'll keep you slot seven in hex. And I'll focus on that one. So now I put in Hopefully it did. I'm pretty sure it did. I put in C, which should be 12 in hexadecimal. And in order to activate the code, I have to press select like that. So now... I should have whatever 12 is. Nope, is the code not activated? Hmm. Guess it didn't activate it. Try again. That's weird. Why is it telling me it's nothing? Odd, because last time I did C, it gave me a crystal or some accessory item. So, what if I have you as zero? Maybe that's bothering it. Nope. 
Huh, I guess there's nothing for 12. That's odd. I could have sworn. I could have sworn one of these go there. Alright, so let's try... Instead of C, I'll try D. Ah, there we go. So I guess nothing is C. So nothing for C. But D is a... D is a blazing shard. So I'd assume the next one would be if I change the value. So if I change you to, say, E, it would be the next thing. Odd that C isn't anything. And E gives me nothing either. Or D gives me nothing. It's telling me that the value is E. Oh god, I'm dumb. It's supposed to be. My bad. C was the one I tried and it gave me nothing. Let's try F. F is the gem. I guess it's going up by two. It's weird that the other values don't really mean anything. So I'll have to experiment with that. So D is blazing shard. E is nothing. I'll put a question mark there. And then F would be blazing gem. And now to just write in all of these. So welcome to the rest of the stream, just panel hacking. As much as I do want to see what all these are, I can't even see what all these are. Because <laughs> I chose this spot. What about something like a dodge roll? Where do you go? You're 75, okay. Oh, you're actually 75 in hex. Hmm. I guess it would be a pack extender instead. Five C. Let me try going through those again. So if I change you to F, and now I make you 1, 0, which should be value 16. And what do I get for value 16? Now that's odd. Now the other thing didn't give me anything, but value 16 does. So 1, 0 will be blazing crystal now let's bump it up again 11 yeah this reminds me of when I was uh deck hacking in Retrain of Memories. This is pretty much how I found all the values. Just trial and error. What is that? A frost shard. So I'm assuming from there, from this point on, it'll just be incrementing by one. That's weird that 12 and 14 don't have any values. 
So let's see, 11 would be a frost shard. So I'll just bump it up by two now. And if I do that, it should be a frost crystal, assuming everything is right. And you can, you don't have to do this like one by one. You can pretty much guess like, oh, well, if I bump it up by this amount, you know, it should have given me everything from here if everything's accurate. It's odd, so this gives me that. I bumped it up by two, yet I have this, so I guess 12 is nothing. 13 is Frost Gem. Maybe they had some items here that they removed. You never know. So let's see, if that one's there... I wonder what the previous is. So, 12. And nothing. So it really is nothing. So, let's see. 13 was Frost Gem. 14 will either be nothing or the crystal. And hopefully it's not the nothing. 14 is the crystal. So let's see. After a B, which is value 11, I have nothing for 12, blaze shard, nothing for thir nothing for 14, blaze gem, crystal, frost shard, nothing for 12, which I think that's 18 in hexadecimal, or I guess in our numbers it's 18, in hexadecimal it's 12. Then it's Frost Gem, Frost Crystal, 15 should be the Gust things. So let's see. I've also done some tests trying to figure out what happens if you put like a weapon panel inside a weapon panel. You get some weird stuff, really. God, all these recipes probably exist also. Alright, so Lightning Shard is 15. And I'd assume since it's grouped in three, so maybe it's every three comes a question mark. Yep, nothing there. And now for here. And unfortunately, there's no way for me to just like bump up the value by one without going through here, putting it in the cheat, and then activating it with select. So then comes the gem. But I'm starting to notice a pattern. So, lightning, gem, and after that... So I'm assuming 18 will be the crystal, 19 will be the shard of whatever's next. Uh, yep. And crystal... So yeah, really sorry about this. Hey, Nominee, welcome back. Sorry I sound like this, I, uh, I'm sick. Don't worry, you didn't miss much. Just my horrible tutorial in the beginning. Nothing for here, which is weird. Yeah, these panel values are really strange. It's sometimes I'm getting just nothing at all. What if I did this? Would that do anything? Nope. I wonder if there is a value for Oblivion outside of Dual Wield, and if there are unused items. There is a value for Oblivion, but for Riku. I'm not sure if there is one for Roxas. 
Let me check, because I remember someone did that for Roxas. They did some weapon hacking. Uh, let's see. There is a value for Oathkeeper. I don't see one for Oblivion. Yeah, I don't see one for Oblivion. Wooden stick is 30. Anyway. So let's see, tools. So 19 odd. So 19 was strangely nothing, so now let's try 1A. And nothing again, which is weird. I thought that was just a reskin for the boss entity. Nope, it was actually Oblivion. That's so weird. So 1A is nothing also. What's really weird is... A lot of these panels are just empty. Like, the codes are just empty. So 1A is nothing. Let's try 1B. So I should be getting the other synthesis items. Uh, nothing here as well. Just to check to make sure it's still working. If I put in 1, 0, 1, it should still give me... Yeah, it still gives me the slot releaser. So this is working. But oddly, there's a lot of empty spaces, which is weird. So let's see, 1A was nothing, 1B was nothing. Although I'll try it again just to make sure. Let's see, config. I wonder if there's a way to change the sound. Oh, there isn't. Because I wanted to just keep the sound effects. Slot releaser in the slot. Yeah, that's how you release them. Anyway, so nothing for 1B. Let's see. 1C. 1D. 1E. And now, if I do that... So let's see, 1C... 1C is nothing. That's weird, a huge gap of just nothing. Xemnas, looks like Xemnas got to Roxas. <laughs> Nothingness is eternal. 1D, also nothing. I'm just gonna copy this nothing and paste it every time. So, nothing there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna mute the emulator, so it just plays the... Let's see if I can find the music for it. What's the music for... I think it's called Sacred Moon? Let's see, 358 over 2 days, Sacred Moon. Yeah, I'll keep this on. Just for some ambiance. You can pick whatever other uh, 358 over 2 days songs you want, I'll just play them. Other than the title, or not title, other than the credits song, I won't play that one. Okay, 1E e is nothing. Let's try 1F. Why is there so much of just nothing? It doesn't make sense. I still haven't even seen the other... The other accessories. I still haven't even seen Shining Shards or... 
these things. Play the credit song. No. Alright, so that gives nothing. 1F is nothing. Because one of my theories is maybe... Just... Maybe it's not giving it to me because it's not in my inventory. It's a possibility, but... You know, can't really rule it out. Alright, let's try 20. So yeah, welcome to the rest of the stream, just this stuff. Uh, 20... 20 is nothing, of course. I'm just gonna jump by like... Well, actually, I, I don't know what some of the values are, so I can't just jump. Well, I guess if I... Nah, I'll have to play it safe and just not jump. 21, nothing. Alright, maybe I should jump. I'll jump by 2 then. So 21 was nothing. Let's try 23. So eventually I should hit something. So you're nothing. 23 is nothing. So it's safe to assume 20... 21 was nothing. Safe to assume 23 was nothing. But I'll keep it blank for How's it going, Nomine? Oh, and to anyone still wondering what this is even for, it's for Stick Blade Randomizer. Although, since I'm sick, my plans got derailed, so I won't be able to... I might not be able to do the randomizer part, because I still need to write the code to actually randomize. So 25 was nothing, let's try 27. Scrub thinking he is superior to Mario. Oh, how? Just playing with panels. 27 is nothing. Let's try 29. 29 is nothing. It's so weird. There's just a huge gap of empty values. I feel like they cut a lot of stuff in this game, probably. So let's see, instead of 29, we'll have to be a B. B. Oh, I like jumping. Uh, B, so it's a 2B, nothing. D, try 2D. Uh, nothing still. Those empty values are pretty great. No, it's not. Why is there so many empty values? This is lazy programming. You know, like, if, if I ever get hired and people are like, Oh, wow, you look at all this empty stuff you left in. You can't just leave that in. I'll be like, dude, if you ever played no panels, look at how many shit, how many fucking panel positions there are just empty. Dude, all the two F, all the two values are just empty. What the hell? So, three... So, let's try three, then. And just to erase all of this... I mean, this is pretty bad, because if I ever do randomize it, then that means it would have to pick a random number from, like, zero to whatever the last panel ID is. There's so many empty values. <laughs> That's gonna suck. That might mean we could maybe insert stuff if Days Hacking becomes a thing. Days Final Mix, Days Programmers be like, what is programming? Alright, let's see. So what was the last value I tried? I think I tried 2F. So let's try 3 0. Three, zero. Nothing for 3 0. Yeah, 
And let's see, I probably could have written a program to just document everything here. I should have done that, actually. Alright, I'm gonna skip. So let's skip 14 positions and see if I get anything. So, let's go to 40. Do we have anything? Oh, look what I got. Um, hmm. Oh, because... Huh. So I might have found something. Uh, how do I document this? How do I document what this is supposed to be? Because I know it's a level up, but how do I, like, emphasize it's this five? Or, like, one of these. Yeah, I think you somehow need to exclude those empty values, and that is probably a pain, I assume. No, I have an idea for that. I am no I am no programmer, but I already tried ROM hacking certain games with tools, and to get the programs to actually exclude sections correctly is just so stupid and bad. Well, no, the, the thing I have planned for is randomize outside of the game. I'm gonna have a little program like I did for Chain of Memories. I'll just make a list of possible good values. Like, even synthesis items, fine, I'll include those. Just for fun. <laughs> Unless it breaks the game, then I'll have to exclude them. But it shouldn't break the game. But yeah, I'll just make a list of all good values, and then just randomly pick one from there. From the list. Or actually, just randomly pick 120 of them from the list. So yeah, that way it shouldn't break. But I... Any idea on what I call something like this? Because I have no idea what to call it. Because this is a level doubler that's like that, but I don't know how to describe this in my notes. I also just crashed the game. So let me reset this. Load state. The emulator crashed, I think. Yep. Yeah, emulator crashed. Okay, let's reload. Oh no, I somehow paused it. Oh shit. How do I pause it? In no sense. Alright, how do I call something like this? And yeah, this kind of weird thing happens if you put the panel, but it's like in a position where the blue zones don't appear. So it's it's weird. But what do I call something like this? Cause don't really know what to call it even. Level doubler 5, level doubler 6, 6, 6, 6. But I don't know how to differentiate between them. differentiate between these. I don't know what to call them in my notes. Because I can't really, like, draw something of it. This is kind of stupid. Yeah, I don't know what to call these. They're just called level doublers. I guess I'll have to write down how, in a way, it looks. So let's see, since you're 5, you'll be level... Well, there's only one level doubler 5, which is weird. I thought there would be more, but I guess not. So I'll write down for 40. Oops. I mean, believe me, if I didn't have to do... If I wasn't sick yesterday, I would have probably... I doubt I would have won, but if I did win, I probably could have. Would have beaten Armored Xehanor, and then Final Xehanor is easy. As long as you block properly and don't get killed by the ultimate move. So let's see, level... Dumpler 5. There, so now... So I know shit exists for the 30s. Let's go back to 31. See what's in 31. Nothing for 31. Let's try 32. Shit. 
shit. Like, why leave so many empty values here? What the hell? These people not know how to program? Thirty-two's nothing. Thirty-three. Nothing. And again, to explain why I'm doing this during the stream instead of, like, off-stream, I really have no time off-stream to do this. So I might as well do this in a stream. Alright, so 33 was nothing. Let's just jump to, like, 35. Thirty-five, anything. Thirty-five is nothing. So I assume thirty-four is nothing also. Yeah, we KH fans have to make Day's final mix at some point. There are so many empty values. Alright, thirty-five was nothing. Thirty-six. That's odd though. Where's all the other synthesis items? I didn't read the code. Nothing for 36. I'm missing synthesis items. Because I should have gotten all of them by now. So maybe it's not reading the code correctly. Not that it bothers me anyway. I mean, like, who even cares about some of those synthesis items? Let's try 38. Nothing. Great. Thirty-nine. Maybe you skipped over some stuff in the chumps. I doubt it. Nothing for thirty-nine. Although it is possible. But I'm leaving the ones that I jumped just empty without writing anything, so I will have to revisit them. 39 is nothing, or 33A is nothing. My bad. So let's try 3A, so 3A, over B. Three B is nothing. Just getting so much nothingness, dude. Zemus got me. What can I say? Kicked my ass so hard in Kingdom Hearts 3 that he infected my days file with just nothing. Let's see, 3D. <laughs> Let's see what value 3D is. If you look at that, nothing. 3D is epic, yeah, epically nothing. E. I don't know why, but sometimes my brain thinks that there's a gap between D and E, like something's supposed to come before. Like, it's supposed to be D, something, and then E. I'm just dumb like that. I mean, if you think about it, the English alphabet has no reason to be like that. Alright, so there really is nothing for all of the values between like 20 and up to 3F, which is a regular level up. Let me try something. Whoops. Sad. Would have been awesome if it turned out to be cool unused items in 3D. So, I just put in the panel. So it did save it, even though I didn't go into my menu, I was level 1 before, but it does save it. So that's good to know. Just some little things to learn on the side. So, 40 is a level doubler 5. 42 should be another level doubler 6? Actually, 41. Yeah, 42 is a level doubler 2. How do I... How do I mark this down? 
So let's see. Level doubler. Wait a second. Is that another level doubler five? Oh, I'm dumb and I can't count. Okay, yeah. This is five. When they say five, they mean like the entire panel is five things. This is six. Okay, so how do I document this? Level doubler six. Doubler six. Should be as a God, I don't even know how to write this in notepad. Why am I even using notepad? I'll just write F shape facing left. F shape facing left. So now the next one, 42, should be the next level doubler. Okay, oddly, it's not the next level doubler. Ah, uh, that's weird. So why is this 42? Level tripler? Which level tripler is the same one? It's you. So we skip these between the values, which doesn't make sense. Uh, let's see. Level triple four. Intersection. What is item order? Item order for now, I know for regular items that you use, potion is two. Like the potions and stuff, that's in normal order. It goes potion, high potion, mega potion, either, high either, mega either, elixir, mega elixir, panakaya, limit, recharge, and it's just some weird ass values. Okay, so I have an idea. Since I have the RAM launch, I can just use this to determine what the values are. So, what if I put in something like you? That's so weird. Look at that. It says it's value 41 also. There's... There's different 41s? Because this is the F-shape upside down. This is the one I had before. So, I guess there's another value that I have no idea about. There's gotta be another way to figure out. I wonder if I try this. Go to 41. And offset like that. Whatever the first digit is determines which one it will be. That also doesn't make sense because the first digit is supposed to determine. This is fucking weird. <laughs> so I assume that they programmed the items first and then it kind of got hectic towards the end of development. I'm assuming I might have done something wrong. Because the codes I used. In order to get like this position, it's 0219548484. You can't go back unless you make it 1295484. So in order to have the even positions, you need to change the first digit to be a 1, which is what I've found out on my own. 
but by changing the first digit to a 1, you also change whatever this is. So this is fucking weird. I cannot... That's impossible though, I can't have a panel like this. Cause I can have this in the even numbered spot, but why doesn't that work? So there's something I'm missing now. There's gotta be other codes for even numbered panels, but I tried to find them before and I couldn't. I mean, I did find them, but whenever I changed them, nothing happened. This is weird as hell. So let's see. What if I change you to offset to try two? What happens if I do two? get another one. No, I don't. I love how the programming here is kind of fucked. There's gotta be some way to figure it out, but I just can't yet. This is the upside down F. But if I go here and I give it a 1, Okay, so one there is like that, but now if I change it to zero... No, it's still here. Am I dumb? Did I just do something wrong? couldn't have put it in wrong, because I wrote down F-shape facing left was that one. How am I doing this wrong? Okay, let's see. This is going to be in one at all times. So... It changed somehow. Because before it was F shape facing left, and now it's upside down F? God, this makes no sense at all. You know what? I think I'm dumb and I misread it. Because this one goes there. So if I take you off. I can't really put it. But how did I get that? Because that should be 42 then, right? So did I just mess up? Am I dumb? W were the last few minutes nothing? If I go to 42, that should be the next one. No, it's... It's... 42 is that, which makes no sense. Yet, if I do 41... So I'm missing some values now. What the hell? 41. Okay, 41. Panel 41. This one is facing down now. What is going on? When I went here first, it was facing left. Now it's facing down? F shape, upside down. What's 40? Like, if I do 40, what's 40? This is so incredibly dumb. Welcome to programming. Okay, 40 is the level doubler, so that's normal. That one is there. You know what else? What if it's possible that the game is smart, and it knows that you can't have that there? So, what if I put you here instead? So you're at A4. If I go to A6, 8... So you're A4, so this would be A6, this is A8, this is A0. So if I go to A0 and change it to that, how will that work? Let's see. 
a zero four one. Oh, did I put in the wrong? Oh wait, not a zero. It's supposed to be a a. My bad. Uh, let's get rid of that. Base 16, come on. It's not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Goes to A. No, it still gives me this one. Okay, how the hell did I do it before days being small? Ugh. Alright, I have no idea what I did. This makes no fucking sense. I'm not going crazy, right? Like the first time it was the upside down one. I'm not going crazy. Fine. What's... Okay, let's just get back to that later, because I cannot figure it out. That's not 17, I need you to be 17. That's also... I'm not doing 17, I'm doing 7. Okay, you're 42... You're 43. So, maybe it's just written elsewhere in the code. Level tripler 4. Let's see, you're level tripler 4. How do I work that down? Oops, well, that won't work. Um. Yeah, we better to ignore it for now, I think. Maybe it was glitching, or maybe they have multiple things on one value, and we have no way of manipulating it. It's not an L shape, it's like a... I don't know how to describe these. So I'll just label it as as right angle. Cause what are you? Well, this is also right angle. The Tetris block. <laughs> this one is definitely a Tetris block. And that one is also a Tetris block. This one's like a collapsed L. So I'll just call it... Above but flipped. Next. That's 44. Oh, the song ended. What song do you want next? Um... Hmm. Oh, how about Cavern of Remembrance? That sounds like a hacker theme. Yeah, hacker man. Oh god, my nose. Okay, so 44 is this. Level tripler. Hey there, Nightblade. Level tripler four, which is collapsed L.
We found some weird shit with these codes. There's so many gaps. Uh, let's see. So I'm using this one. Level quadrupler. So let's see. And level quadrupler is 45. Level quadrupler. How many of these are there? It's three. Three. This one's a right angle. I assume this one is, yeah, 46. The snowflake donated bits for some Twitch charity thing last year. Forgot exactly. Good on you. Level quadrupler three above but flipped. And I would assume this one's gonna be 47. Finally, we're getting some actual values here. Quadrupler three block. Is there a level quintupler? There is not. Okay. Backpack doesn't really okay, well. See. Backpack is 5B. Alright, well, we're not there yet. So I could add that because 5s are coming up, so let me just go through. 297 level triplers. Dude, I wish. I think your level is capped at 99 now, so it doesn't matter how many you put in, it'll always be there. You know what else I realized? The randomizer isn't really smart enough to like... <laughs> 99 backpacks. Now that, that's interesting. I don't know if there's a limit to that. But I know 5B is a backpack now, so let's see. So 5B is a backpack. Pack extender is 5C. So 5B backpack pack extender is. 5C. I mean, this. Think about it though. The point of a randomizer is. For this RNG randomizer, everything will be randomized for panels. If I ever convince Scrub to do this for me. He can strategically place all these panels and know where everything will go, so it's fine. Alright, well that's done. I did all of these, I did all of these. Time for magics! So, where does fire start? What's fire? 5D. That's interesting! So, what are the other values? So, fire is here. I assume 5E would be like... I go here. Fire, fire raw would be like 5e, yeah, so it goes fire, fire raw, and then fire raga would be 5f, probably. The game will probably crush out of value flow when the run starts, true, I expect that to happen. 5f is there, okay, but what are the other values? Like, let me check. So those magics go there. Oh, maybe these are included. So if I go here, no, that's 74. Okay, that's way higher. No, uh, let's see, dodge roll. What are you? 75. Okay, so good to know. Like after the magics are done, it goes straight to here. What about these? C zero. God, that's way higher. Oh, so I know that says negative 4, but... Oh, I should change that to actually unsign. Uh, let's edit this to unsign. There. Okay, so good to know that, like, after all of that... 
we're missing a lot of numbers, but after they're done. You know what? I think I know what the missing numbers are. Or some of them. Okay, so let's see. We stopped at 48, so what would 48 do? So let's force it with cheats. What do I get for 48? Why is it not working? Can I turn it off? This is weird. I'm not getting any values for 48. Why does that not happen? Does 48 not exist? What? Oh, whoops. I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm adjusting AE. I need to adjust A4. Okay, 48. There, now it's working. And nothing for 48. So it's the return of nothingness. I get nothing for 48. Let's try again. Let's see what 49 is. Anyway. Oh, uh, let's see. I kind of wish we could force the game to create more than three pages, if only there were mods. Oh, scrub, please. Yeah, my bad, sorry. I'm an awful hacker, man. 49 is nothing. Oh, shit, I opened the wrong thing. Close. Okay, 49 was nothing. Let's try 48 is a nobody. It's a Kingdom Hearts 4 nobody. 4A, once again, nothing. We're missing a lot of level doublers. Hmm. Maybe, let's see, where can we even put this? Like, I would need to put you down here. So, this is 17. So add, well I'm at 7, so oh, I need to go to 17, which I wish I found out earlier. So let me do the math. So let's see, A4 is 7, so I would need to add 20 more. So let's see, let me just quickly do this. A6 is 8, A8 is 9, AA is 10, AC is 11, AE is 12, and then B0 would be 14, no, 13, B2 will be, fuck, I lost count, alright. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that should be the value for slot 17. So now if I add you the RAM watch, let's add in... You and let's keep you in a hexadecimal. So slot 17 X. So if I put you in, I got C5. That that's insane. That makes no sense. So the level doublers. <laughs> this makes no sense at all. That one is C5. That's impossible. Like, why? I think Scrub used the max inventory to make sure the codes work. Yeah, I did that. I put in max inventory to get 999 of everything. Or, I guess 99. Yeah, it created the wrong level multi. The wrong uh, level doubler before. Okay, this, this makes no sense. Let me show you. So this for 17, it's 40, right? Like this is 40, which is correct. Oh, whoops. 
hang on. This is 40. This is 41, which is correct. And then you, which actually goes here. And it jumps to C5. What the hell? 40, 41, C5. Okay, this this is sloppy coding. <laughs> Dude, someone call up Tetsuya no more. Let him know his programmers did an awful job with this game. <laughs> like, what the fuck? That's where all the level doublers went. Dude, this, this makes no sense. Why is C5 here, but 41, the thing that comes before it in the inventory, <laughs> that makes no fucking sense. No wonder we couldn't find it. I'm assuming those are like C6, C7. What the fuck? Oh, the, the values before them are empty. That makes no sense. <laughs> moshi Moshi, this is your mark. I thought they all had the same panel arrangement for level boost panels. No, they they all have different arrangements. Okay, so let's go back to the testing. Uh, I guess I'll keep you around in case I need you. So let's see, what was I at? I was at, um, let's see, A4, so 4A was nothing, I believe. Dude, this makes no fucking sense. So 4A was nothing. 4B. They literally just programmed two multis. <laughs> and then they thought later after doing other stuff that should make more doublers. That makes sense. I'm inclined to have that be true. I believe it. Okay, 4... That was nothing. There's no shortcut for opening the cheats, by the way. I have to actually, like, manually click to the Dropbox menu and go there. A uh, drop-down menu, not Dropbox. 4C is nothing. Let's see. This makes no fucking sense, honestly. 4D, I assume, is nothing. 4D is nothing. Why did you delete all of these? 358 over two days, the story you never knew. Xion's memory wasn't the only thing that went away, but went away were all of these special panels that you never got to see. 4E is nothing. And if I go to 4F... Four 4F is nothing as well. I'm assuming all of these values are all empty. What would 5-9 be then? Because 5-A is a backpack. What's 5-9? Five, 5-9. Nine? Five, nine. Nothing. Okay, so it's... Actually, 5-B five, five was a backpack, so what's 5-A? Alright, so I'm pretty sure in between this gap, it's just nothingness. Ugh. I hate to sound sick. Yeah, so nothing. Wow. So, from values 41... No, from values 47... 48, actually. From value 48 in hexadecimal to 50... Oh, to 5A in hexadecimal is nothing. What in the fuck? We should keep a Google Sheet doc for this. Oh, I'm writing it down. Don't worry. I'm writing all this down. Any info on how to get the memory locations for a given panel? Oh yeah, that was in the beginning of the stream, but I messed it up in the tutorial. <laughs> so, you won't really get it, but it'll give you an idea on how to get it. Anyway, <laughs> this is fucked up. Next, we need to get items into command deck and recoded, and we need to mess up the chip matrix. There, there should be codes for chip matrix, I guarantee it. Alright, so let's see, going from here, so going back there, uh, let's see, so Firaga was 5F, now to write down the 6 values, 6, 6, 6, 
I think from there, everything should be normal. So I just need to delete these. Let me also copy these down. So I need more room. Let's see. After here. There. Now I've got down a few more. Anyway, oh yeah, and you guys can recommend other Days songs that you want me to play, like, it doesn't have to only be this. Days ROM packing coming closer. Alright, so I'm assuming, let's see. So going back here, yeah, that's 60, just as I thought. Alright, so Blizzard is 60, so... Are just 60. Lizard. Lizara. Likely 61. Zaga is 62. Then it's Thunder for 63. Thundara for 64. Thundaga for 65. I'm pretty sure this is all going in order afterwards, by the way. Up to the weapon panels, anyway. Let's see. <laughs> Lazy Afternoons. Vector to Heavens. Which do you want? Lazy Afternoons or Vector to the Heavens? Your pick. Love how you have 999 tokens and crowns and somehow is a novice. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I was using this as a cheat tester before. Back when I did uh, the no panel run, I was testing out like 999 tokens, 999 crowns and stuff. Okay, let's see. Vector to the heavens. Fine, fine. Nightblade said vector to the heavens. Let's see. Is vector if it is? Hopefully it's loud enough. If it's not, let me know. Actually, if it's too quiet, I can raise it, but if it's not loud enough right now, I can't do anything about it. Because the volume is at max. Alright, what comes next? Let's see. Uh, 66 should be arrow, so let's try it. And yes, it is. So everything's working correctly right now. Alright, let's see. Sixty-six. Arrow, 67 is Aurora, Aurora, it should be Cure, 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 and now come the magic, so let's see, level double those, Roxas is basically God, but Syx has none of that, playing endgame boss music as background music, well, why not? Uh, 6 C, so that is correct. So, level doubler... So, at least these level doublers, or these magic doublers, are working correctly. <laughs> the stream is so memey. Well, make some clips if you want. The, the fucking part where I realize the level doublers don't work in the correct order, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. I also don't understand, I must have done something wrong to get the backwards F thing to appear instead of the other one. I'm just dumb, probably. So let's see. Uh, magic level 2. Oh, that's what it is. Magic level 2. Four. They're all fours, so I guess there's no reason to write that they're four. Uh, this is the square. Next one is the uh, Tetris piece, and then the other one is a Tetris piece. 
but see, I wonder if we can find out and manipulate the panels of the party members in story mode, and if we can change who are the party members. You can change who the party members are, there's codes for that. There's codes for uh, changing, although it actually has to be present, like your party member actually has to be present for the code to work. So, unless you have, like, if you want to change party member 2, but there's no one there, nothing will happen. My connection to the stream can die. Alright, so, let's see. Here's 6D. Okay, so that's 6D. Interesting that the, the blue parts of the panel, they actually do not count. I thought they would, but they don't. Just, they just have their own zone. Uh, rip nominate. Magic level 2. Uh, this is... What do I call the other one? Square. Oh, I know how to write this down. Magic level 2, and we would be. I'll do this line and a dash. That should be specific enough. I wish there were days raw packs. Why would they count, though, for the block location? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's like, oh, set this area to be like. I don't know, like double this. They're like, maybe, maybe that thing is like an ID for like this area needs to double the magic. This one is like two lines. What do I call that one for the level doubler? It's like collapsed L. Ah, that with an intersection. So then this would be magic level two. So just to count, so this will be seven zero one two three four. So that would have to be seven four if it stays in order. Yes, it is correct. Okay, so this is all in order now. Do I sound, like, really bad? So my nose just slightly stuffed? Okay, now the seven values are available. Uh, actually, what is the max level a spell can possibly have? I don't remember, exactly. Let's see, I don't know. They could parse the magic counts before missions start, though. I think that's how they do that. Uh, what was the last one I did? I think I did you last. Let's see. That but flip. So I did that one last. Or this one last. So this one's magic level 3. So magic. Level 3, and I'll call this one two right angles. 71 is magic level 3, and that one is collapsed L, or sideways L, I guess. Sideways L. So are there any missing panel values I think you should find? There's some panels I haven't found yet. Well, there are panel values that are just randomly empty, which make no sense. But so far, I've pretty much found all the magics. 
I'm pretty sure these are all in order as well. Although I could be wrong. We'll see about these. Dude, you know what I just realized? You can equip more than one limit boost with this code. I really want to see how that works. Think of some interesting questions regarding these panels like that. And I'll test it out. Like, that's that's another thing that these streams are for. I want to test out shit like that. Alright, so let's see. Double cast... 71... Wait, that's not 71. Magic level 4 is next, so magic level 4, and then double cast, and then triple cast, okay, so... Magic level 4... Double cast... Triple... Cast... Quad cast... Just use Day's ROM hack to do that. Okay, so all the magic stuff is done, and it is all in order, thankfully. So let's see, dodge roll. So you should be 75, which it is. And if this was all in order, you would be 6, 7, 8, 9, A, 1, B, C, D, E, F, G. Doesn't exist, this would be 0. So you would have to be 0. You can't even add you, actually. Alright, so let's keep counting. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Actually, uh, that would be A, B, so this would be B. So, if I replace you, you should be... The next thing would be B. Okay, so there are missing values here. There's absolutely missing values here, so... You're correct, you're 76. Yeah. Unless I counted wrong. put you here so I can put these. 77. Imagine multiple installations of round block. <laughs> Fuck, what would that even do? That would probably crash the game on usage. So let's see, that one was 77, so you should be 8, 9, A, B. So you should be B. If it's correct. And in order. You're A. Unless I counted one. You're a... You're 9, which is correct. That makes no sense. This one is C0 for some reason. What? Why is this one C0? It's like all the shit they thought of late game, they just added to the C values. Okay, so this makes no fucking sense. These things are not organized correctly. Alright, let me add these here. So this will be C0, C. So these will all be the C values, because we keep getting them over and over again. Man, the C values are going to be really interesting. The C values are like... All the random shit in the game that's at the end. They're not really at the end, but it's like all the shit in the game that they just added at the end of game development. That's pretty much what I gather. So I'll copy these, get rid of them, put them right. Deflect dodge is not the first thing one thinks about. <laughs> Alright, so dodging deflect is uh, C0, so we have that. Dodge, whoops, deflect, and deflect. It's like the cards pass like value 200 or so in comp. Those are really glitchy cards, I have no idea how to fix those. Okay, I'm gonna go away for like a minute, let me go get some water because my throat is really sore from talking so much. I heated up my teapot before, so let me go get it. Good. 
water. Scrub drinking tea. I gotta get better somehow. If there's one thing my parents engraved to me when I was a child, it's whenever you're sick, drink and pee, drink and pee, drink and pee, but don't drink your own pee. Oh god, my ears need to shut the fuck up. They keep popping whenever I swallow. I wonder why my Lucia card fixes the game. Or crashes the game. Uh, I, I'm i pretty sure it crashes the game because they never really wrote a description for it, probably. And they decided to remove it at the last minute. So instead, they just gave it like a test value just to test out if it'll work. And they picked Maleficent's thing. Alright, so now let's see. Dodge roll. Go there. So let's go up. Dodge roll. 75, dodge roll, 3 is 76, then dodge roll, level plus. I'm really ashamed that it's written as LV plus here, but for magics, you know, it's written as... Oh, it's LV? I thought it was LVL. Oh shit, now I gotta correct my notes. Great. Ah, fuck it. I'm leaving it in. I'm leaving it in as LVL. Okay, sue me. I don't care. Dodge Rush would be next, but Dodge Rush... Dodge Deflect is weirdly not there. Dodge Deflect, so I'm assuming Dodge Combo is next. So, Dodge Rush would be 78, let's test it out. Yeah, you're 78. You're 79, okay. Dodge Combo. Probably never gave it a default description, rest in pepperoni. That makes one wonder, in what order Com was even made, Mickey is the only card that uses the default failsafe description, and he was one of the last cards added. Everyone else just pulls its stuff from a random texture. So wait, are you keeping track in a Google Doc or some kind of pastebin? Yeah, I'm keeping it in a notepad. I should have done a Google Doc though, that would have been smarter. Okay, and then I'm assuming that you would go here and you would be 7A, which is correct. So auto dodge will be 7A. Can you guys keep a list of the questions that I'm wondering? Plot twist com started with party members. You know what else is weird? There's premium party member cards for Donald and Goofy that function, you know, but they, you never get them. Scrub not copying and pasting to a Google Doc. Yeah, I should have done that. Instead, I'm on a, a notepad file on my computer. Okay, so yeah, so far the questions I have was, um, what do I have? Magic panels, something about magic panels. What did I ask? I can't remember. Maybe it was about levels? Oh yeah, one one question we had was... I can't keep traps in time on level. Okay, well let me see so far. My question so far is... With backpacks... Can you have more than two pack extenders? So like, put in three pack extenders and see what happens. Cause yeah, it won't... Oh, you can put in... Well, we can actually find that out right now. I guess. Let's find out right now. What happens if we do this? Like, does this actually function? Although, I don't know a place in the game where I can go that just drops a shitload of items. So this does work. I know this much. So 
I have like 16 backpacks. How does this work? Just put these in so I have stuff. Alright, well let's do the backpack test. I think questions were what is highest magic level, what happens when you stack the same effect on dodge, dodge block, and do all different effects and abilities combined and you have everything. Oh, add another question. Would having a panel that's like dodge block actually work without the dodge thing that it needs to go inside? Alright, so how does this work? How do I switch to my backpack? I'm assuming D? No. How does this work? Well, I'm not sure if this music is so unfitting for this mission. <laughs> true. Very true. I should also change the music. Let's go to Lazy Afternoons. <laughs> Examine anything suspicious. Yeah, Roxas has 14 backpacks on. Zigbar is like, well, the kid wants to examine anything suspicious. Alright, let's see if I can find it. 3, 5, 8, or 2 days. Lazy Afternoons. No one extended this, huh? Are you serious? Ah, someone did extend it. Okay, good. Alright, we'll, we'll figure out the whole backpack stuff later. Because I have no idea how that's supposed to work. But it is possible. Digmar, we sure have quite the hoarder here. Points to Rucksack. <laughs> Let's see what the max magic level is. Because I think there is a cap. Uh, so if I go here... Fire. So it should be in... If I go to, how do I go? Yeah. So now it's like fire is level 4, fire is level 5. Yeah, okay, so max level is 5. So if you have one fire, and then you go to... Let's see... Level 4... Well, you get the idea. Yeah, level 5 fire. It just does more damage, I think. Because all of these different things do different... Well, all these different spells do different things. Okay, so let's see. What were we on? I think we're on block. Block is 7B, which is correct. So now if that's 7B... Block two, block four. Block four is second C. Let's see, seven B is block two, block four. How many block panels can you have? <laughs> uh, let's let's find out. Well, okay, all the questions, let's, let's have a part two of this. Because, I guess I'll only do one stream of Stick Blade Randomizer, because I totally will not be able to do two at this point. So, I'll do one stream of Stick Blade Randomizer. Fuck, I'm gonna have to do two streams on Friday, just to, like, have something posted on the YouTube channel. Because I haven't had a stream in about a week. Okay, so block 4 was 7C, E, F, let's go, 8, 2, 
streams in one day. Yeah, sometimes I do a morning stream. Depends on how my schedule is. But if I have to, I stay up later on Thursdays or the day before of the double stream, do more stuff then, and that way I can do a double stream. Max level auto round block. Does that even... Let's see, links raises its level, its perfect block. Whoops, so let's see. Yeah, this this sickness really fucked me up. Real good. So I'm at block level two. I can only have one block here. What's the difference though? the difference from here? I just didn't know you did a morning stream. Max level, auto perfect round block. Let's see, so if I go to, that's dodge. Let's see. If I go to block counter, can I have multiple of these? Or Yeah, I can have multiple of these. Block counter, block retreat. And then you can hack to have multiple blocks here. So I can basically code in to have every single block. How will that work? Holy shit, I could have all elemental blocks. I could have fire block, block jump, slide block. Allows you to quickly slide before the block. Allows you to jump after. So fire, blizzard, thunder, arrow, block. Bonus. Generate HP prizes sometimes when you block. These limitations. I wonder if we can hack for multiple block panels to do it. We sure can. Cause you're seven E or you're seven C. Okay, so I'll put you here. So that's seven C. So I'll put in perfect block, block counter, block retreat. Now let's put in the cheat. So that's seven C, I believe. Seven C. Hopefully, I'm correct in my memory. Got it memorized. I didn't. And now we have two blocks. And now, if I put in, it won't let me. It, you can have multiple perfect blocks. Oh, I thought you couldn't have two of the same block in. Although I guess that's a lot. Yeah, you can have multiple of the same block. So that doesn't really do anything. You just hack one in. Yeah, just hack one in. I have a code in right now. That's how I was testing the valleys before, but they were all giving nothing. So I just changed the value to 7C. So let's see. You guys ever wonder what the maximum block level was? Dude, what if there's a block level 5? Because right now it says block level 4. There is not a block level 5. Okay, I can confirm no block level 5. But as you can see, you can have multiple blocks. I have no idea what happens in battle if you do actually use multiple blocks. Like, how will it know which block to function with? Okay, so back to writing the values. So, I'll leave you here. What did I say last? God, this song is irritating. Can we change it? Can we put on another song, someone? Someone pick another 358 or a 2 days song. Because this one's really irritating me. Alright, so... 7D. So 7D... Vim and Viger. There's Vim and Viger in... 358 or a 2 days? I don't remember. Let's see. 
Vim and Wagner. There is Vim and Wagner. No one extended it though. Oh, here it is. Ten minutes extended. <laughs> Sacred Moon. Sacred Moon will be next. I love listening to Sacred Moon. Okay, uh, so let's see. So that should be 7D, so that is correct. So that's 7D. Did you pay the tension rising? I think tension rising is in there, but I'm not gonna like, say for sure. So block level plus is 7D. Much more fitting. So if 7D is block level plus, so you should be E, F, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, okay, so 9, so you should be 9, and if that's correctly 9, yeah, so you're correctly 9, okay, so these are all ordered in the same way, so I'll just write it down, so let's see, so after block plus comes perfect block, Block counter block trait. And then sliding block. Sorry, I wasn't waiting for time because my parents are weird. What happened? Uh not much. We figured out you can have more than two blocks. We hacked in, or well, I hacked in, a second block 4 panel, and you can have level 4 block, but it doesn't go higher than level 4, which is the maximum you would normally get. I heard from the headphones that multiple blocks didn't crash. We don't know that for sure, though, because I haven't been in combat yet. I'm really sorry, by the way, that I'm not including the Twitch chat in this. I really should, but there's no room in here. Damn it. Next, next time, maybe I will. Alright, so let's see, after sliding block comes block. Show. Then, fire block. Blizzard block. Thunder What is that music loop? Oh, I didn't even notice. Someone might have just pasted the song right after each other, so that's why I didn't loop correctly. Alright, so then it's... Let's see, Thunder Block. Arrow Block. You know what's so fucking cool? Like, you could hack in. Bottom right would be a bit of room, but it would feel cluttered. What's so fucking cool is you can hack in all of the elemental blocks. So each block can be a fire, blizzard, and thunder block. Can you have multiple? Like, what would that do? Anyway, if I have two blizzard blocks here, what happens? I just get one. Okay. What does leveling up your block even do? Anyways, so let's see. Arrow block. Uh... Block bonus round block auto block. And now comes the arrow recoveries. If I'm correct, that should be 94, which it is. No wait, that's it's not right. I'm missing six values, or seven values. Let's see. Great. Oh god, I heard that loop. That loop was garbage. Aerial recovery. Okay, so I'm missing some slots. Aerial recovery. I'm missing whatever 8A through 9-3 is, so let's test it out. Let's go.
Imagine replacing the day's artwork at the bottom with Twitch chat. Or you're having the text behind Riku really small. All different block types at the same time is still something I'm interested in. There's 12 different types. What the fuck? Which one is this? Glide comes after block, so that's not ordered correctly. But at least I know, Glide 3 is over here. So... Glide 3 is here. I'd assume the other glides? So let's see, there's... 1, 2, 3, okay, so Glide... So... Glide is A, then it goes B, C, D, F, and 3, so... That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 slots. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 slots. Which doesn't make sense because this is way more than 10. Alright, so uh, something's not right with blocks. Or glides. Glide 5. What is glide 5? 8B. Which I assumed anyway. Holy shit, what happens if I have... What happens if I have more than one glide? Can I do that? Will it let me put in more than one? Or not? Allows you to... Oh, am I thinking of glide? I'm not thinking of glide, I'm thinking of sliding dash. Glide level plus. You can only have one glide. What is Rocket Glide? Uh, allows you to slam past forward by gliding right after you begin an air slide. Alright, so let's check this out. I'm gonna put in another Glide. Which is Glide 5 is 8B8. Or 8B8, I guess. 8B, so let's put in 8B. So now we have a second glide. So what's the maximum glide level? Is there actually a higher max than max? God, this loop is garbage. Like, I want to listen to something else now. So glide is level 5, which it should be. That's the regular max. It does not go past 6. Also can't have that. But I can have, like, rocket glide... Another rocket glide, which doesn't really do anything. So, these glides are basically useless. Imagine Super Sonic Glide. What I want to test out, though, is Air Slide. Holy shit, you know what else? Haste. What if I have multiple haste? Although, I assume there is a cap for haste, so I guess that makes sense. Shit, they, they thought of everything. They have a cap for every, every fucking thing. Auto life. What if I have like 80 auto lives? Nah, uh, well, let me put it in. But I'm pretty sure there's a maximum limit to auto life, just as there is. Slide dash, sliding dash, sliding dash. Yeah, so there's definitely like a max level somewhere in the game. Air slide so badly you glitch out of bounds. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what were we on? We were on HC. I don't know what HC is. So let's edit it. HC. HC is nothing. To know. The return of nothingness. Let's see. Alright, so HC was nothing. That's really weird that they have two things for glide and then nothing after that. They don't even have the glide level ups. What in the fuck? Deleted? <laughs> They did delete stuff, because when hacking the panels to have all the panels, 
If you go past some values, you get deleted items. Like this. What does this even do? I really wonder. I don't think I can use it in any way, though. Can I? Yeah, like, it's not in items, it's not anywhere. Deleted. I didn't think you could actually get them that way. Like, I didn't think they would be that early on. Square, please. Dude, my hopes and dreams deleted. Uh, yeah, nothing happens with deleted. They're just here, but they do nothing. Yeah, there's a lot of weird values here that are just deleted and not supposed to be accessed. I played around with the panel unlocking code in order to get them. Alright, so, uh, we'll just keep it as deleted. Deleted. Alright, so this song is over, by the way, so I'm gonna pick something else. Uh, let's go with... We did Vector already. Uh, Struggle Away, Flight from My Friends, no. Let's go with Sacred Moon. Uh, where is Sacred Moon? That's not the... That is the extended one. Okay. Not Sacred Moon, I mean. I meant Mystic Moon. That's the one I needed. Where's Mystic Moon? They literally have scrapped and tested items. I wish Hand would tell us what they had planned here. Alright, so we know that's deleted. Next. By the way, once again, I'm sorry I sound like crap, but I am sick. Sacred Moon is the default BGM. You know what else I wonder? Is there a value in the game to change the game? background music. There probably is, and I could probably find it, but I'd rather not use it. Alright, so 8E is nothing. Alright, so 8E, nothing. Next should be 8 We know that's deleted. That's why it's there. Uh, 8F. That's fucking weird. Why have Glide there, but they rearranged it differently? Alright, 8F is nothing. Let's go to 9 0. Ah, look what we have here. 9-0 is... what is this? Oh, I think that's the air dash? Air slide. Dude, what if... What if I have more than one air slide? I go to like air slide... Oh no, wait, because of the level... level cap thing. Shit. Plot twist, scrub uses music, change code, and get glitchy BGM instead. Other games have dummies that sometimes retain their properties. So let's see. Okay, so at least I know that this one wasn't like, all for nothing. So this one's 90, so... Air slide... Two. So there's two things deleted. You know, actually wait, there's nothing deleted, nothing, nothing. So there was four other things that they wanted to include in this game, but they didn't. So maybe there was like a teleport option they wanted, but they scrapped it in the end. There's so much scrapped stuff from this game, but we don't, we don't even know what it is. We just know it's scrapped. Alright, so I'm assuming you would be next. If I have you... I put you here, you will be 93. You're 9. That makes no sense. Why? Oh, uh, it might be 93 because. Let's see, air slide. Level plus. It's probably there because after air slide comes the other ones. So that actually does make sense. So. Oh, that's air rush. God, I'm done. Okay, so air slide 5 will go there. 
Air Slide 5 is 91. And then Air Slide Rush will be 93 and Air Slide uh, Level Plus makes sense. Okay, Deja Vu, I've been to this game before. Reminds me of the Dodges from other cage games. This game has the shit at hand delete. But just to check and make sure, I'll put you here. Yeah, that's 92. Okay, so I can assume that's correct. But I'll test it out anyway. I, I will test that out. Though. Let's see if... I can't even put that there because... Oh, good thing I had that, that one at the bottom. I was wondering why do I have it. Now I remember why. Okay, so that's 91. So, let's test that out, actually. So, I'm gonna put that there, so I'll put this thing here. And now, let's go to cheats. Go to 91. Can scrub have air slide and air slide panel? Huh, that's weird. 91 gave me nothing. Why is that? Uh, where do I have it set? I don't have it set here. I have it set there. Well, shit. Let me change that again. Because... Alright, fine. I have a different idea. Yeah, it won't appear because... Huh. Thought of something. Maybe some of the other panels that didn't appear just didn't appear because there wasn't enough room. So that might have fucked things up a bit. But the other thing appeared because there was room. So that makes no sense. So that one appears. But if I have you here, let's let's try it. Let's try this first to see if it works. So is there a higher level than whatever the other level was? Level 3, 5... Is there a level 6? There is no level 6. The most air slides you can have. And now let's test it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, it's still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, it's only 5. Air slide looks so fucking weird. Yep, that sucks. There's no infinite amount of air slides you can do. Alright, so let me test that out again, because that might reveal why we've been getting empty values. Maybe it just doesn't fit? But that doesn't explain why the other thing worked. I crashed it. Whoops. Okay, so that seems to crash if I do that. Let's try it again. Yep, it crashed. Okay, so that sucks knowing if a panel is off the screen, it might crash. Let's try this though. Okay, so I'm not going into the menu. It's there, but I'm not going into the menu. So what if I go out and explore? Then will it not crash still? It looks like it hasn't crashed yet. Okay, so it didn't crash here. So even if it is out, as long as I don't look at the menu, then I'll be fine. What crashed is... Okay, oh, that's weird. Now it's gone. Oh, that's because it saves what my panels are, but the code doesn't really change it. It only changes it for that moment. When I go to the mission, I have to press select or else it's gone. That's weird, because you notice the values are zero, even though I use the cheat. So now if I go in, I'm curious, so maybe that's why it works, let's try again. Okay, so the values are still the same, but now when I withdraw... I 
It's odd. It's still acting like there's nothing. Rip the address value window. Oh, now it's telling me zero. That's odd. I do know, though, it does work for missions, because I did test it. But that's odd that it's not working. So, the reason why it crashed, I'm assuming, was because I used something like this in this position, which shouldn't be possible. So now it's out of bounds. It gave probably an index out of bounds error. Okay, so back to testing. Let's see. 95. What is 95? Actually, if I had to assume, what's haste? 9D. Okay, well that's not 94. We did all the blocks, right? So, error recovery, error recovery. Oh, okay, I was just doing the error recovery. Okay, so error recovery, that's there. So if I do this right, error recovery is 94. So this is 94, so this should be 95, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this should be 99. You all saw that just now, right? I accidentally put an air slide panel in here. <laughs> Shit. Okay, let's get rid of that. And I have now lost my panel. Well, I've just deleted two panels. Okay, uh... Let's see... Well, somehow it actually wasn't deleted. Okay, put arrow recovery through here, so I should get 9. Yes, and I do get 9, as you can see in the RAM watch. Yeah, that bottom left window, in case you're wondering, that's the RAM watch, that's showing me that address. And I have two values displayed there right now, the hexadecimal value and the actual integer number. <laughs> Air slided recovery. You can do some weird shit with that, but it does crash the game. So if I remove the, so let's say I have this, and now I put an air slide here. So now if I remove this, huh, that's weird, the game crashed last time I did that. <laughs> Recovering air slide. Dude, that's, that's gonna be in the final mix of days. Okay, so now to write all this shit down. So, air recovery, where is air recovery? There we go. And this is in order, so... Aerial recovery... Three... And then... Aerial recovery... I like how it abbreviates aerial into just A recovery. Recovery level plus. Combining stuff to make wacky abilities. Auto gliding round block sounds extra broken. <laughs> That's funny. The Nintendo DS needs you, ROM hackers. Uh, let's see, after AO recovery level plus, it'll be quick recovery. Followed by aerial payback. Followed by smash. Rocks is for Smash 1, it's right there. Uh, I have the air slides ready, so I don't know what's there. What is 9A? Unless it's another deleted thing. 9A, or maybe it's the jumps. It could be the jumps. Oh no, it's slide. Okay, so let's see, slide. What is that? If I can find it. Sliding dash, that's what it is. Sliding dash is 9 here, so sliding. That explains it. There's only three possible things for here, so sliding dash. Three. And 
and sliding dash level plus. Let's check again if it breaks the game by going over or not. Dude, the game designers thought of everything. They actually cap it off. Alright, what was sliding dash 3? Let's see, sliding dash 3. That was 9B. Roxas can be an eco fighter even though his fighting style is completely different. Okay, now that that's in, let's see, can you have multiple sliding dash? Whoops, I, okay, it's not A, it's double. Uh, no, it's max at three, so... There's really no other reason to, like, have any others, so you just have these and you're done with this. Okay, so that doesn't work. They, they capped everything off. They're smart. Like, they really... Well, I say smart, but... Hmm. Let me just... Okay. Yeah, they're smart. Not even level 5. Uh, let's see. After that should come haste. Haste is 9D, so haste should be... I'm assuming that's 9E, so... Haste 3 is there, and then haste level up should be next. Also, you know, if you guys are tired of this song, you can just recommend another 358 over 2 days song where you can do it. What would be interesting is sliding dash plus glide, something like Ventus' first air attack when he is far away from an enemy. Funny. Uh, let's see, page 3. So let's see if we can have more than max level haste. You would think, like, they wouldn't think of that and just have, like, haste 1, 2, 3, 4, up to, like, whatever number. Imagine haste 50. Roxas is just, like, moving at the speed of light. Okay, to force someone requests a non-dazed BGM. Instead, they just program each level independently for there to be a cap. So let's see. I'm assuming you are 9F. Yes. Let me jot these down first, and then I'll check that out. So that's 9F. Oh, it's there's only three values. Okay. So then paste level. Plus. And now we're on A's. I really wonder what happened to all the items and where they all went, because I don't understand how they're just gone. I'm also curious what the C values are. <laughs> Another side of the story battle version. I think that was one of the right ones. Yeah, here it is. There you go. Okay. Let's see. So, let me check if you can have more than <laughs> max level haste. Will that work? Uh, let's see. So, 90. Ooh, the music's picking up. Hacker Man theme is going right now. I forgot to put it in. There, haste is in. I, I'm telling you, one of these will not have a level cap. You will be able to break it. Uh, so let's see, I'm at haste level 3 right now. I'm still at haste level 3. Yeah, it doesn't work. Oh, that's 
interesting. This actually counts as one level. So having these in is an actual level. Yeah, the, you can't go past three. Scrub the hacker. Casual music for love. Please. On the road to day's final mitts. Dude, we're getting there. Uh, so let's see, what's next? Hang on, I'm gonna go heat up some water also, because I need some. So if you hear the teapot, don't worry about it. Alright, should be heating up soon. Now then. We were up to here. So after haste comes... What's flow? Where is flow? Is that for jump? It is for jump. Okay. Uh, where do we stop? A0, I think. I, I really love this. Another side of the story sounds really cool. I wonder why they have the Marluxia bits there. Okay, so that's A0. Dude, can you have multiple floats? What does multiple floats do? Roxas shall become very likely. Oh, we also need to experiment with this. What happens when you have multiple limit boosts? Okay, we'll experiment with that soon. So let's see. Jump was A0, you should be A1. So. I jump. I jump. Three. Alright, let's see if you can have multiple jumps. I'm telling you, one of these can help. Makes any weapon stronger. Oh, I remember this! This was from, um, if you get 255 of the tokens, you get this. I have no idea what this does, but... What? <laughs> Holy shit. What happens if you put in, say, more than three of these? Or like, four or five of these? Does this actually add an ability? Ultimate weapon. Yeah, you guys might not remember this, or ever think that you got this, but yeah, it's in the game. It's a real item. I'm curious what a bunch of ultimate weapons can do. <laughs> oh god. Is there a cap to my strength? Also, I wonder. There's probably a 255 cap, I'm guessing. We'll see. Dude, imagine having three ultimate weapons equipped and stick blade. You'd shred everything with just a stick. Alright, high jump is in. That was A1. A1. Can you have multiple floats? I mean, you can have multiple floats, but can you have... Let's see. Keep... You can have... You can have high jump up in two. You can have high jump level 3. You can have high jump level 4, so there is a cap to it. Man, they capped everything! Ultimate stick blade. Yeah, actually, did the game 100% on beginner. Not that I can understand. This game was really hard for me as a kid. Okay, so let's see. High jump, high jump, and then... I'm going to assume float is 93. Uh, the teapot's finally started, so if you hear that, sorry. But I need water. Yeah, A3. Wait, what's A2 then? Oh, A2 is high jump plus. Alright, so let's see. High jump level plus is A2. Level plus. 
and then float. I found it necessary to have higher symbolism in my save file. Mission mode actually doesn't change as it's counted as a different difficulty itself. Really? Wow. That's gotta suck. Dude, what happens if you have more than one scan? You get super scared. Alright, and now I'm guessing the treasure magnets are all the same as well. Okay, they're not the same. Why do I have B4 for treasure magnets? Okay, uh, let's try that. So, again, something went wrong. Not on my end, on the game developer end. Super scam. Alright, so... Treasure Magnet is B4. I'm guessing B5 would be there. So they must have had other abilities that they probably removed. B5, yes, that's B5. And you really just have like this for B6. So let's see. Treasure magnet three and then treasure magnet level plus. I'll go back to those values to see what they were, but let's just finish these first. So auto life three. I don't see an auto life one. Okay, Auto Life 3 is A4. Well, I found the continuation. Auto Life. Auto Life 3 is A4. So, I'm guessing Auto Life Boost would be A5, which it is. The game tells you the enemies and the fights. I kind of missed it elsewhere. Everywhere else. I don't think crowd changed much from beginner. I think it was like Roxas takes 1.25 times damage instead of beginners 0.75 or something like that. Okay. Right now my auto life is there. What did I say was? Let's see, sheets. Can you please tell me you can have more than one auto life? I really want to. Please let let this be the one that you can break. Auto life three, and then let's eight. Stuck at level 3. That's unfortunate. And mission mode is enemies take half damage and are stronger. Alright, so now I am missing A6 all the way to B3, which I assume are here. Alright, so what's limit boost? Limit boost is B D. What? Okay, the limit boost is there. God, the orders on these panels really like upset me so much. Final limit is C1. Boost is big dick sounds logical. Never underestimate the big dick limit boost. 
Alright, what, what did I just have? My C1 is final limit. Final limit. Let's scan. Scan is BC. This makes no sense the way they have this. Scan comes before limit boost, yet it's listed here the other way. Okay, now to try this out. If I have scan here, what happens when I have multiple scans? Can, can we get super scan? Uh, let's see, BD, what was scan again? Where I say it was? It's BC. So, BC. I guess Final Limit was a late addition then. <laughs> We're going to have to code a custom program for efficiently choosing the panels. Yeah, there's there's no way I could figure this out. Considering how silly the options are for panels. I wonder if it's possible to have a randomized to shuffle all stuff in the game. There must be. So now that I have two scans, what happens? It, it just keeps it a scan. Okay, so I guess it wouldn't really do anything. It just gives you the ability, but not much. You don't really get super skin, which we thought would happen. Uh, range extender, what is this? Oh, right, lock on. Um, that's BB. We're going down now. No, wait, yeah, we're going down. Range extender. So, to, to reiterate these values, they're really weird. Scan is BD. You're BB. Oh, wait, scan is scan is scan is BC. Limit boost is BD. Final limit is C1. Let me also reiterate: dodging deflect is C0, which is weird. Okay, and now for ultimate limit. More than one? It can't. It actually doesn't let me. Uh, so let's see. BF is ultimate weapon. There's so many missing values. Revive Days fan base. Let's revive the Days fan base. Alright. Uh, so let's see if I can do that. My strength right now is 109, so let's see if. Changing this to BF will give me more strength, actually. Um, it didn't... Uh, That's insane. It actually doesn't show. The game is preventing me from having a second BF value. Let's see, if I take that off... What?! Why isn't it- it's nothing. Like, it's actually nothing. It won't let me put it on. With the hack. That's insane. Like, it actually will not let me put it on. And I know I put in the code correctly. Like, right here, it says it's BF. And once I do the code, it's empty, so the ultimate weapon code doesn't work. Well, the game doesn't want you to cheat ultimate weapon. <laughs> That's crazy. You know what it might be? It might be because... Well, I don't know if that's true. I was thinking maybe because I actually didn't unlock it from the Moogle, that I can't use it. I don't really see an option for redeeming. Yeah, it won't let me redeem. I guess we have to exclude it. Well, that sucks. So it's ultimate weapon. But it doesn't appear. May that might explain what some of the nothing values are. Maybe it's stuff that just can't appear yet. So let me try this. Let me go to the title screen. Go to story mode. And let me load my completed 
no panel files, so let's see what this does. I have no panels right now. I also don't have to hold the slots, so that's fine. Uh, let me give myself... Oh, let's see. I don't think I need the code for all panels, so if I do BF... I don't have BF here. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. You didn't unlock Redeem yet. Oh, did I on that file? Let me check. I think F. I think my first save state. No, my first save state is also here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Redeem. So I'm assuming all the way over here. So if I put in the cheat for all crowns, let's see, cheat for all crowns. Yeah, here it is. 909 crowns, 909 symbols. I'll turn you on. There. So now I have 909. So now if I go here. Hey look, I redeemed everything. Totally legitimately. I swear it's legitimate. Okay, so now I should have... Is in here? Yes, ultimate weapons. So now I have that. So now, let's put in the code. Well, the redeem is the legit part. It, it doesn't do it. It doesn't activate it. That's insane. I can't hack in. That. Hang on, I've got another idea. So let me try to do this. If I make you zero instead, maybe the offset is messing it up. Nope, doesn't happen. Let's try two. Maybe two. It's- that's insane. You can't hack in the ultimate weapon. Why not? Oh, that was low here. I can't believe it. How many limit boosts can I have also? I can only have one. But we know what limit boost is, so... What happens if I equip more? I don't know if it's incompetence or a smart guy in the hands of the office, but they actually made the thing anti-cheat. I have no idea how they did it, but they did it. Maybe that's why some of the other values weren't working correctly. Some of the other values might have been tested with anti-cheat. They just forgot to turn it off, and that's why some of the values are just nothing. Uh, so let's see. Uh, limit boost is BD, so we're BD. I never turn on the code. Okay, now it's so, did my limit actually change? It's still the same. It didn't change at all. That sucks. So you can only have one limit boost, and they really did make it only one limit boost. Abilities do not repeat. Who the hell is called? Oh, crap. I'll be right back. Okay, I now have only five minutes left to strip. Ugh. Anyway. Okay, fine. But, I need to figure out what these last values are before I go. I still don't know what BE is, so let me test it out. B 
BE is nothing, so it might have been an ability, but it's been removed. Oops. Or it's something that I can't access again. Who could I miss? Nothing, just the call. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm still missing all of these as well, so let's see what A7, A8, and whatever else is. A7. Figured out what A7 is. A7 is deleted. I'm guessing A6 is also deleted. Even if they stack, which they probably don't, the ability is probably programmed to just make the amount appear. True. That makes sense. Uh, let's see. Go to A6. You never know, we could find some really interesting stuff. So far, I found a lot of deleted. A6 is also deleted. Uh, let's check out A8. I can't, I still can't believe that they blocked Ultimate Weapon. A is nothing. Okay, A9. Deleted randomizer. <laughs> Please. Please, no. A9 is nothing. A zero. Oh, that. Hmm. Did I never add the high jumps? Oh wait, I did. But then. Oh. Did I? Wait, was I? Oh, I'm dumb. It's A A, not A zero. Come on, it's hexadecimal, not not decimal. Okay, let's try A A. A A is nothing. That's why. It didn't work. I love how potion icon is the default, I just assumed potion really was the first panel that was programmed. The deleted items have to be in randomizer scrub, why? A, B is nothing again. Alright, I'll keep... Alright, fine, since they're not blank. But that just means that everything after the max panel would... Well, I don't know if that would be deleted, we'll see. I'd assume not, it would probably be blank. A C is nothing. A D nothing. God, I can't believe, I still can't believe that ultimate weapon thing is not available, even through hacking. It's crazy. I don't even know how they blocked it. AE is nothing. They have so many blank things here, it's so annoying. But don't worry, I have a way to get through this for the randomized coding. Went to the wrong thing. Embrace the deleted items. AF is zero. We're on to the Bs. The Cs are gonna be really interesting tomorrow. Assuming I'm feeling better. B zero, nothing.
just want to finish up the beast today. Then I'll do the rest tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll get to go to the weapon panels. B1 is nothing. C-Boys. Uh, B2 is nothing. There's also a gap between Treasure Magnet and Range Extender. There's four missing things there. So let's see. B3. B3 is also nothing. That entire gap. There's two items that are deleted, and there's like eight nothings. Who the hell coded this like that? And now on to B7. So this is like the four gap. Let's see if there's anything here that can hide in. B7. B7 is nothing. Okay. No. B8. B8 is nothing. will be the last one. B8 is nothing. All of that for just four nothings. I really think they had stuff here, but they just took it out. How much stuff did they cut from this game? Alright, so tomorrow I'll try to go through the C values and onwards. We still have... We're missing... We're missing the level doublers that I couldn't find before. We're missing all the keyblades. And I'm assuming afterwards comes... Well, the rings, definitely. And then after the rings will be the accessories. Or not... Well, after the accessories comes all these recipes. And then all of these, which I couldn't find before. I'm assuming the nothing values are probably these things. Which is odd. Days has good gameplay, change my mind. Alright, that's gonna be it for today. So, thanks for coming. And yeah, I'll publish all of these things later at some time. So I wonder where the document is for viewing all the items and their values. Well, I'm writing it up. No one has ever made a document for this yet, and if they have, they've never shared it, because I've looked online. I tried searching a lot for panel codes, but no one has it. So that's gonna be it. And yeah, really interesting stream. So with that, thanks for coming, and goodbye.